Hello language buds, it's Elizabeth with Fluent in Three Months and today I will be having a discussion with one of my language learning, language loving buddies, Suzanne Jacobs, who happens to be one of the community coaches with Fluent in Three Months. So we're going to discuss German Uncovered, what we like about it and how we use it in our daily routine. Enjoy! Wie geht's Suzanne? Es geht mir gut und dir? Uh, gut, danke, danke schön. So we are here today to talk about one of our favorite people, one of our heart people, Kirsten Cable, and we heart Ollie too because he was one the co-creator of German Uncovered. And <laughs> what is this? Is this sign language? That is my daughter is obsessed with K-pop. That is their cutesy little way of making a heart because this is the oh. bottom of a heart. That's amazing. We K-pop heart, Kirsten <laughs> and Ali. So we're talking about German Uncovered and I figured in honor of The Fluent Show, which Kirsten is a host for, we would do this uh, sort of a la top tools. And I've even thought of a way to pretend make her theme song our theme song. So it's like um, top tools, German Uncovered, top tools. <laughs> but I don't, that's all, that's as far as I got. I didn't really plan that much, but it's a good enough song. Right. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do is we are going to each have two of our favorite parts of German Uncovered. We're going to discuss them just informally, just between two friends. I introduced you earlier, but um, we talk a lot during uh, the Fluent and Thrones Challenge, so it really is just a chat between two friends. I would say the first thing that I love, because I had to narrow it down to two so that this um, video wasn't five hours long, <laughs> is uh, German Uncovered is structured to get you immediate success. That was my, probably my absolute favorite. And what I mean by that is I feel like we get to peek inside the minds of two polyglots, mm. you know, especially for you and I, we've learned a number of languages already. But you don't forget what it's like to be a beginner, beginner, and not know how to learn a language. And Ali and Kirsten walk you through how to find cognates, which is words that are similar to English words, and also how to um, how to read something without knowing with only without knowing more than 10% of it, which is very frustrating if you're not if you're not kind of trained in it. And so they train you on how to learn a language on top of how to learn German. So I think you can actually recycle the things that you learn in this course with other languages as well. Um, but I think they do an incredible job of it. For instance, uh, Kirsten had one tip where she talked about every time you see a T in German, just play around and see if you can put a D there instead, and you will oftentimes get an English word. How how can you not? I mean, I can't unsee that now, right? When I see trinken, which is drink, you just take that T out, you put a D in, and suddenly it's a word that we understand. So mm -hmm. it's those little tips that just, I don't know, I felt like they were kind of like light bulbs were going off in my head as I was doing the course. What, what do you think about that particular? I thought uh, the cognate section was phenomenal because you don't see that even in other other languages that share a lot of vocabulary with English, the Romance languages, because of all our Latin words, the Germanic languages, this is the first course in any of those languages where I've seen the connections made and like you said once you see them you can't stop seeing them you see them everywhere and that is such a huge leg up to have to be able to figure out the vocabulary and for people who have large vocabularies in english it's a lot of fun because you can start seeing the connections all over the way and it might not be a common word like flank or uh Lincoln or something like that it might be some more obscure archaic word or something that you just happen to know like, oh, that's where that word came from and it's 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 wonderful that's one of my favorite parts about it too yeah i agree i think that it just especially i find that students that are articulate in english and they're trying to learn their first language for the first time often have a lot of difficulty because they are you have to speak like an infant initially so if you can get a few three syllable words under your belt immediately it's an instant win and it keeps you coming back for more i, I couldn't agree more all right what's your number one favorite thing 
Well, I love the, my number one would be the videos with, with Kirsten. She has such a clear way of teaching as she goes along, a methodical way of teaching, but she also has this very, very calming uh, way about her where I, I watch the videos and I think, okay, that chart looks scary, but Kirsten's really helping me make sense of it to show that these things really can be grouped together and these other things can be grouped together. It's really not that bad. And I come away thinking, oh, this is doable. And that's, I am uh, not always have had the best of luck with German grammar in the past. I took a university class and uh, it did not go well. I left and it wasn't just because the professor had Schmutzen, the hand puppet. <laughs> um, but uh, German grammar was always scary to me. That's why I dropped German initially, but I, I still wanted to learn it because I love a lot of the literature and the philosophy that goes along with it. And I'm a reader and German was always on a bucket list of if there are only so many languages, I could learn how to read well, especially. Um, I could do that, but it's not all about the reading. As you know, the, the speaking, is a huge part of it too and you might want to say more about the speaking section i do want to say more about the speaking section and i also want to piggyback on your idea of kirsten's kind of like this calming presence in the course because i agree with you um i now a few languages in language learning i kind of know the ropes it's kind of like having your second kid right your first kid every little cry is a bit panicky the second one you know you kind of understand the the process but as a first time learner learning German to hear her be like it's okay this is how it's gonna you know let me just explain this in a nice easy soft tone let me write this out so you can see it let me break down these sentences that are coming directly from a story so you've read the story and now they're breaking it down to explain it it just it is very soothing plus she's got the podcaster voice right yes <laughs> So it's like just more time with Kirsten, which is fabulous. Like butter. Like butter. It's exactly like butter. Um, okay, so speaking practice. That is my second favorite thing. And now I have the Julie Andrews song going through my head, but I will not curse everyone with singing that on top of my top pool song. Um, speaking practice handouts. So this probably was, aside from the fact that the structure is so diverse, and so you get reading, writing, speaking, and listening all within this within this one course. It's bundled together. Nothing's too. It's not too heavy in any particular uh, topic. Mm -hmm. They wanted to make sure that they gave you a lot of opportunity to speak, and this was an ingenious idea. Mm -hmm. um, in each chapter, so there's 20 segments to the course. At the end of each chapter, you've got your vocabulary. You've now uh, had a lecture and, and exercise on vocabulary, lecture and exercises on cognates and, and then pronunciation practice, a few other things. And then at the end, they give you a handout, a PDF that you can now give to your tutors and say, this is what I know so far. Can we practice this? That is extraordinary to me, right? Because how often... Have you had a tutor session where you get on and you're like, hi, I don't know how to speak any part of this language. And mm -hmm. I don't quite know what I know and what I don't know. And the tutor's like, so what do you want to learn today? I don't know. And then the opposite is a tutor that's too rigid and they're teaching you stuff that you just don't need yet. So it's not kind of, it's not consistent with the course track that you're on. And it's like overwhelming to be doing German Uncovered and a tutor session, this melts the two together. You give them this PDF and you say, this is what I'm learning. And then they, they can look at it and take those exercises directly from it. So you've now created a German Uncovered covered, covered tutor, or they now know the vocabulary and they can play a little and they can create their own you know, creative exercises. So that by far to me was just such a, a very smart idea to have in a course. And I used it a lot with Spanish Uncovered. Yeah, I had, um, I, I've had the great, a great time doing the speaking activities. Every other week I meet with one of the tutors I actually heard, one of the teachers I actually heard about in, and Kirsten has a little black book of language tutors who a know- bonus about section. The program. Yeah, yeah. A, a 
section on the site and one of them is Zambina. I've been working with her since last year. She's fantastic. But the uh, I want to say that the speaking practice worksheets have the teacher instructions there. So you can really uh, give that to any teacher and you're allowed to, uh, you have permission to share it with uh, the teacher of your choice. Yeah, it's plug and play, right? You, yeah. Here you go and then the native and you can use it with language exchange partners too which i find a lot of people flounder with language exchange partners what should we do what should we talk about we talk about the same thing every time give them your speaking practice mm -hmm. handout and you will have tons to talk about right and another thing about the little black book of german tutors is that if you mention that you got their name and information from german uncovered if you get a free trial lesson and that can really you know that's that's a great bonus. It's it's kind of like uh, well, it's a bonus. It's a bonus of the German Uncovered course. So I think that's just another fantastic idea for them to have tutors that have already been vetted. So you don't have to look if you want to save some hours of looking and searching because it's it's hard to do that. You already have two tutors that oh I got I know it I understand this course here let's go. And I have complete faith that everyone in in that Kirsten recommended for this is fabulous because my teacher has so much experience she's so good and I feel like she's such a gem and I could have floundered around trying multiple tutors but here I found one who really knows her stuff. To be honest I um, started German before trying German Uncovered mm -hmm. so I didn't have any of the teacher recommendations and it took an immense amount of time to find a teacher that fit my schedule that was willing to do a fluent in three month challenge with me, um, that fit me personally and also was a good standard. There were some that just, mm -hmm. we would sit down and they would just stare at me awkwardly <laughs> for five minutes. And when you're just new in the language and you know like five words, you really, it's not your job to keep the conversation going. So had I had German Uncovered, had I had those recommendations, I would have jumped on them in a heartbeat, mm -hmm. absolutely. So that's my number two favorite thing. What is your, number two favorite thing? Well, I was thinking of mentioning that the, the worksheets have a good variety of things like, you know, uh, word finds and things that aren't just that. But I think actually my next favorite thing after Kirsten's videos are the stories themselves, because it is a continuous story. It is broken up into 20 chapters. And with each chapter, you get a different story. Uh, a different part of the story it advances the storyline and so you're always wondering what's going to happen next what happens next so you don't have to start over with new characters every chapter you've already been introduced to the three friends from wales and uh, a secret uh, secret uh, person who will who will join the story right but um i was always excited to find out the next part of the story and it's so much more fun and it makes things stick so much more learning them in 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 context like that weren't we talking about this like a year ago i started spanish uncover and you're like oh i'm, I'm like this many chapters into german uncover and i can't wait to hear what happens and i'm like me too i already know what happens even though i haven't finished german uncovered because i did have spanish uncovered and it's a similar story. A lot of cultural details and locations have been changed, but I, I am guessing that a lot of the plot points are, are the same. And Ollie did a great job at making an interesting story for that. And uh, oh, ooh, I forgot to mention, it's important to know all of these stories come with native speaker audio files. They are all read aloud. So. I will listen to it once, twice, occasionally three times, and then I will listen to it while I am reading the text at the same time. So it's sometimes there is a dearth of good native speaker audio just for the A1 levels that's comprehensible, and this is that. Yeah, you talk about two things there that I, I want to acknowledge in, in terms of my language learning that I love. Number one is learning through story, because mm -hmm. if I hear about Alice going to school and getting her lunch, losing, losing her lunch. And then the next story is Frederick going to the beach. 
it's just, it's kind of shallow. But when you've got the storyline that you're following, it's kind of like watching a TV series. You want to know what happens next. So your brain is more engaged. And I love that you mentioned the audio files because they're very important, especially that they're native speakers. I um, put them on my phone and I listen to them each 20 times so that my brain can just get used to that. Just the, the phrasing, the pauses. At first, it just sounded like, jibber jabber to me and then about 10 times in it was like oh and then i would also do just what you were doing go back and read and listen i'm a little more impatient than you are i think you can sit and and, and concentrate i'm i get a little antsy and so maybe i do that read with it at the same time once or twice at most but then i just do extensive listening and it's great that it's possible these are small audio files so it's not you can also i think at the end there is one big audio file. So you can just listen to the whole story once over if you want. Yeah, it's it's downloadable. I put them all in a single album on iTunes and synced it to my phone. So they're ready all in order anytime I want to, to listen to them. And occasionally I'll listen through from the earlier chapters and I'm 15 chapters in right now. Can you believe it? I'm three quarters the way through. That's amazing. Yeah. So, so yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll listen through just for the more listening practice. And it's one thing that's amazing to go back to earlier chapters. Wow, I have learned a lot. I have come a long, long way. Because you yeah. might not, first time you hear it, you might not understand a whole lot or even the second time. But, you know, you, you look back multiple, multiple chapters hence and... Uh, you can really see your progress, good. right? You can oh, really yeah. see your progress. Um, as a matter of fact, I've been listening um, and my teacher recently said like, your pronunciation has improved. What are you doing? And I'm just like, I'm listening a lot to native speakers. Mm -hmm. So you can do it in an easy, comfortable way. I have to say that I was surprised because I'm a huge fan of Kirsten. I knew that this would be an amazing course. I just think she's the best at fluent, at the fluent length the fluent show, right? We, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm just echoing probably what you're thinking too. We're both super fans. Um, but I will say that I didn't know much about Ollie. Mm -hmm. And so I was highly impressed. I mean, I bought one of his books. Um, I think it was Learning Spanish with Short Stories. And I was like, wow, this guy knows how to teach people how to learn a language in terms of how to read a foreign language. But then when I first saw Spanish Uncovered and now German Uncovered, I was highly impressed with the structure and the well thought out plan. Like, so they didn't sit down and just go, oh, we're just going to create a course and see what happens. The, everything that they've done has a logical, um, a logical conclusion, and it, it leads you into the next theme that they want painlessly, which is really quite remarkable. You don't realize, I think, sometimes that you're learning, and then you look back and you're like, wow, I knew nothing when I first started. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of German Uncovered, and I'm so grateful that you took the time to, to chat with me today and just share your thoughts too, because it's a, lot, it's a lot better to hear someone else's thoughts than just hear me yammer on. It's just not as much fun as having you here with me. So thank you, Suzanne, I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, would you like me to show you what it looks like printed out? I would love to see okay. what it looks like printed out. So I'd like to share what German Uncovered looks like printed out because there are so many worksheets involved like that and I can underline the cognates I find. Uh, I work better with paper and I wanted to turn it into a reference that I could keep around. Here's how comprehensive it is. Here's how big it is. This is a two inch binder. I have, it is almost full. I've got 15 out of 20 chapters printed. It's going to be stuffed by the time I Oh, get. it's not, it doesn't have the whole course in it yet. Oh yeah, this is not even the whole course. This is, uh, so far I've got wow. 15 of the chapters in here. There are five more chapters left, wow. left to go in this. So it's, it's very comprehensive and I'm really glad I have this around because I often end up going back to other chapters in it. Thank you so much for showing us that and for showing us all those fabulous books in the background. Okay. I want to just go hang out there and read with you all day long. Well, thank you so much for showing the actual, um, the, the bulk of just the 15 chapters, not even five more to yeah. go. Thank you for sharing right. that. I love seeing that on Instagram too, on your Instagram account. We have like a really pretty uh, version of it. And thank you for answering questions. Oops. I almost knocked my camera over <laughs> and thank you for answering questions and I will That's see true. you back in the challenge. And that's it. Thanks so much for joining us. If you are reading this on or watching this on the Fluent in Three Months website, 
scroll down and read the rest of the article because I did include a number of really neat tips and details about the German Uncovered course. If you are on YouTube, have no fear, you do not have to miss out. All you need to do is go to the link in the description box, click on it, it'll take you to the article that I'm talking about. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please, pretty please do give it a thumbs up. You can only really give it one thumbs up, but if you could give it two thumbs up, I would appreciate it, but you can't, you can only give it one. So please give it one thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for lots more language learning content. The famous Benny Lewis is here, so you wanna hear what he has to say. Thanks so much for joining us and I'll see you again another time.